Hello guys, my name is Rishav Raj and I am a third year student at Bits Pelani and this video is about Bits at Cutoffs. So yeah guys, I was uh, trying to make this video from today morning but uh, I got time at this point of time so I thought I should make it as fast as possible. See, the, first of all I would say that you should definitely join a group called Bits at Queries. This is a Facebook group and I want to tell that even if you are waitlisted, even if you are uh, if you, even if you have scored any marks, I would suggest you should join this group so that you can ask your queries, you can ask your doubts and there are seniors from all bits Pilani campuses to guide you there. Many parents as well as students are asking and with the help of them only I have been able to uh, I've been able to get this data about cutoffs. Also, I would suggest you that please don't be sad if you haven't got your desired branch or you are still waitlisted because this is only the first round and a lot of marks would decrease from here. Certainly, few marks would certainly decrease because this time also a new thing has happened that is in the fourth round you would have to go to the campus. So we can estimate that around the fourth round you will be able to uh, uh, know what is the cutoff statistics this year. So first of all, let's talk about this. Yeah, so I hope you can see the cutoff data. Uh, so first of all, we are talking about Pilani campus. The thing with Pilani campus is that it would, it CSE would certainly have the highest uh, cutoff which everybody knows and it is 350 marks around 350 also i would suggest that you keep a plus minus 5 to 5 margin uh, so that because always it's not so accurate because uh, maybe some people would not have filled that google form which is obvious bits also does not release any official cutoff data unless it is the end of all cutoffs Okay, so first of all, yeah, you would get a CSE at around 350 marks, 351, and then ECE at 316, Triple E at 301, ENI at 291, MSC Economics at 270. Okay, I am first of all talking about MSC Economics, which is the highest cutoff uh, considering all MSC courses. This is obviously because uh, the most sought after MSC branch is Economics. Uh, people think that there are uh, there will be scenarios where this economics degree will be more helpful for, for them and this is true as well considering bits and then if we talk about uh, mechanical you will get at 266 msc mathematics at 248 msc bio at 222 msc chemistry at 225 and other things you can see in this video again i would also like to show you the data for goa and hyderabad as well for goa the cse is around 322 ec is at 292, Triple E at 279, ENI at 273, MSC Economics at 258 and other branches you will be able to see, Chemical at 230 and some branches you are not able to see the data because uh, there weren't a lot of responses for them and then Hyderabad you can see that CSE at 308, EC is at 284. I would also suggest that you should uh, write your uh, marks in the comment section so that other people would be able to know if there is some inaccuracy in this data or anything else. So this is the first thing I would say. The next thing is I would say that please don't lose patience. I I guess around 20 marks drop is uh, should come from this this uh, current statistics because people uh, who are who will be going into IITs or will be going into NITs are also uh, holding their seats right now but as soon as the fourth round will come people would come to know that now they would have to go to campus then only they can retain their seat and a lot of travel would be there so people don't really risk a lot like that so that is why at that point of time they will they would start leaving they would start withdrawing and at that time your time will come and uh, uh, it will be great so yeah i would suggest please don't panic wait for your turn uh, very patience is very very important in counseling so this is what i would like to tell you and i hope uh, you would have got enough information any more videos you would like to uh, know any more information you would like to know from me you can write it in the comments